Hi, good morning everyone, this is Scott with Scott Man, and we are here along the coast of Maine. We're going to be checking out three different coastal communities here in the state of Maine, Rockland, Rockport, and Camden. So we're starting off here in Rockland, Maine, a nice little city along the Penobscot Bay. And we're starting off here at the Breakwater Lighthouse. However, this, this breakwater that we're walking on here came just a little bit before the lighthouse. This was built back between 1899 and 1900, mainly to protect the city of Rockland from, from some of the major storms that can, that can happen across the Northern Atlantic. Originally they were playing two breakwaters, but they ended up just going with one. And this breakwater is pretty long too, because it goes about 4,346 feet approximately from the coast all the way to the lighthouse. And it's like, yeah, the, the granite we're walking on is about 700,000 tons. That's a lot of granite. And the lighthouse itself from the base to the top is about 25 feet. And it stretches way out into the harbor, as you can tell. We're almost back to shore and can we get back in the car. I'm gonna head into downtown Rockland now. All right, we made it into downtown Rockland. It is a very nice little small city here. And what's cool is that uh, this is where the annual Maine Lobster Festival is held on the first weekend of August. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, it got canceled for a second year in a row. Oh well, but still cool to, uh, to check out the city. Rockland is considered to be the art capital of Maine and with that comes a lot of great art museums including the Farnsworth Art Museum which is what we're walking by right now. Built in 1923 the Strand Theater here in Rockland has been showing many different films whether they're first releases or independent films and they also put on some different um, musical or comedy shows as well too. What a beautiful view of the harbor. This is like the Harbor Park that overlooks the the uh, General Harbor area. And, and you can even see the Breakwater Lighthouse that we walked out at at the very beginning of the video. How cool is that? This is a pretty cool park here. This is Buoy Park. We've got, we've got a couple of buoys located here on the land. And up the hill from Buoy Park, we have the Main Lighthouse Museum. It's a museum full of lighthouse, life saving, and Coast Guard related artifacts. And another cool art museum that Rockland has to offer is the Center for Maine Contemporary Art. It contains art from different artists from Maine or artists with affiliations with Maine. Well, I've had such a great time exploring the city of Rockland. I'm trying to get a little hungry, so I'm gonna go get something to eat before we head up to a couple more towns along Highway 1 here in the Maine coast. All right, here we go, the Lobster Shack. Found a place where you can get a lobster roll. I found a place to get some lunch, not eat that, but eat, even eat outside too. Had to get a lobster roll I'm here in Maine. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and 
dig into this. Wow. <laughs> they pack a lot on. <laughs> Mm. Mm, this is really good. Lots of lobster, just the way I like it. This will fill me up for sure. That's probably the most mild lobster I've ever seen on a lobster roll ever. <laughs> it was fully packed, it was absolutely delicious. I should probably stop getting the lobster rolls though because they're expensive. <laughs> oh well, but when in Maine, you gotta have lobster. All right, so I'm gonna leave Rockland now. I'm gonna head north to Rockport. And welcome to the town of Rockport, Maine. It once used to be a part of Camden, but it broke away from in 1891. But the area was founded in 1769 by Robert Thorndike. And what's cool is that this community, the rocks that were that make up, that make up the U.S. Capitol since uh, since had to be repaired or restored after the War of 1812, came from Rockport. And not only that too, but parts of the movie Casper that came out in the mid 90s was filmed here as well as in nearby Camden. Well, that's the downtown area. It's very small. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna head down much closer down, uh, down to the water. There's a little park I'm gonna check out before heading up to Camden. Made down closer to the sea level and got this beautiful park. And over here we have a statue commemorating Andre the Seal. Andre the Seal was a huge attraction here in the town of Rockport. And unfortunately, he sadly passed away in 1986. But just take a moment, just to just look at the statue and remember how cool Andre the Seal really was. Seal, 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 seal. All right, maybe you don't have to go that far, but still, <laughs> what a cool seal and really, really nice statue too. I just gotta love these small towns. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, I should probably get back on the road and head up to Camden, only a couple miles or so away from here. Hey, welcome to our third and final city or town here in this tour of different coastal main towns. We're here in Camden and kind of like Rockland, this one is pretty busy too. Because there's a lot of hustle and bustle going on in town, even for a Monday. I'm so here at Harbor Park and we have the uh, Megundacook Falls. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. But the waterfall is pretty cool as it crashes down into the into the beautiful harbor out there. But yep, there's one cool thing about these coastal main towns is that they each have their own beautiful harbor where you can look out at the water.
What a cool downtown, I have to say. All right, before we close things out, I want to check out a couple different parks around the Camden area. I, po I apologize for the wind, but yeah, this is Ferris Cove Beach. This is a few miles just north of Camden, and what a beautiful scene this is. Just take a look. You see the mountains on the distance, and just this beautiful blue lake. As a matter of fact, too, there's over that way, there's even a really cool hiking trail that can take you up in elevation to get some spectacular views. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be doing that in this video just because I need to save up my strength for Acadia National Park tomorrow. Where I'll be doing a lot of hiking. Alright, before we conclude this video, I'm going to be heading up the top of Mount Meguntacook. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And we'll get some really cool views from, from the top, especially of Camden. And welcome to Camden Hills State Park, located just a few miles outside of Camden. And we're at the top of Mount Batty, and look at this view. Just take a look at the views from up here. We can look down below at Camden. There are two ways to get up to Mount Batty. One is taking the auto road, which you pay the park fee of $4 for Maine residents and $6 for out-of-state residents. Or you can walk up the old carriage road, which takes you from the town all the way up here, which you get up here for free. As a matter of fact, even former president Theodore Roosevelt climbed up this mountain. The stone tower you see here was erected in 1921, and this was at the location of the old Summit House, which used to be a clubhouse and social center. What an epic way to conclude this adventure today along the coast of the Penobscot Bay. We started out in Rockland, got to check out a beautiful lighthouse, and of course in Rockland had some lunch, delicious lobster roll, then head over to Rockport, check out the small community there, and then finish off in Camden, where you got to walk around the beautiful downtown area, and also check out a Meguntacook Lake, and then finish off here at Camden Hill State Park at on top of Mount Batty. All right, so I'll get ready to conclude this video here. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, 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 come along and join me for the adventure. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.